Okay, so I'm making this video about module placement because a viewer asked me about my opinions on it and so on. And I don't really have an opinion about module order or placement. Um, once again, that's a really highly subjective thing, but I can give you an overview of what's going on in the amp and maybe that'll help you decide what uh, modules you want to put where. So as you can see, there's this little cover plate where the preamp modules would go in, and the order is such. Channel 1, which I believe is the red channel, um, module 1 is the very first one on the chain, module 2 would be the next one, module 4 following that, and then to the output. When you switch to channel 2, Module 1, Module 3, Module 5. You'll notice Module 1 is common to both channels. Now this is not a true two-channel amp like a Fender Twin Reverb that actually has two in completely independent circuits. This is an amp that uses a channel switching relay. So Module 1 is common to both channels. So whatever you put here affects both channels. So probably the most important thing is to think of, well, what do I want in channel one? Do I want a classic module here, a normal module? You know, it just depends on what's happening in each channel. So now when you pull this off of here, and you can actually see the preamp modules, you'll see here's module one, module two, module four, that's channel one, module one, three, and five is channel two. And can't really see it, but just to the right of this last module is where the channel switching relay is. So, as I said, pretty much, you know, it just depends on your, on what you have in here. But module one is always the first thing in the signal chain. Now, I can show you on the schematic also what's going on here. Okay, so here is a schematic of the preamp section. As you can see here, module 1 is connected to the guitar inputs. There's a parallel input that's not shown here. Um, but they're both exactly the same input. And so anyways, it goes through module 1, so this is common to both channels. You see it goes Depending which channel you're on, this is channel 1 up here. Goes to the EQ section, on to module 2. Then after module 2, it goes through the overdrive control, which is basically just the interstage volume control that controls how hard the signal is hitting module 4 here, or module 5 if you're in channel 2. So, and you'll notice that the B plus voltage is 360 volts here and here and 400 after the overdrive control. And then the master volume, of course, is the exactly what it is, the controls the overall volume of this whole signal chain going to the power amp section of the amp. So really probably the most the two most important module locations would be the first one and two or three depending on which channel you're on. So if you're if you have a say a high gain plus six module here and then you stick like uh, another high gain here you're you're probably gonna have just a squealing mess so that's why they came up with the FET module. Say you wanted to have a high gain plus 6 maybe here, and you put the solid state FET here, and then you would have a lot more control over the squealing, but still have kind of two characteristics. So, you know, it just really depends on, on what um, sound you're after. A lot of this is a bit of experimentation to, to figure it out, but Seymour Duncan did 
actually have um, some publications of suggested module combinations which I will now put on the screen.